Welcome, Leos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Leos. Let's see what is coming up for your fourth quarter. We are looking at the month of October, November, and December, and you have fire, hair, and air, okay? So whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, Leo, I see you are dealing with some situation where um, something, you are looking for a new start. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're looking for a new start. And I see young people are going to be affected by this issue and the situation that is coming up for you, Leos. So some of you, Leos, had some sort of a legal issue. And uh, it's as if this is coming to an end and you're, um, you know, looking to move forward. But you're still looking backwards. So I see that a lot of you want to move forward, but you're looking backwards instead of moving forward. Some peace is going to be coming in in a situation for some of you, and you're going to be looking um, in order to create some sort of a future for yourself looking forward. So Leo's whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a whole lot of you trying to resolve some sort of an issue um, that you were going through. It could have been legal issues that some of you were going through. And whatever the, the situation is, uh, I see some jealousy is going to be coming to an end. However, this is happening in Transpire. So we have the major information with the Torah and then we see what is affecting you and how um, the Torah and with these energies uh, that is behind the veil um, that is coming up and is going to be transpiring in your world. So... Whatever um, the deceptive play that was transpiring, I see some sort of news is going to come in. So welcome. If this is your first time, please like and share. Subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, you have to choose um, for the um, uh, the extended, the second subscription on my channel. So a whole lot of you... Um, if you want to see the extended of this reading, you have to choose for the second subscription. So use the blue button to connect in order. Um, it's $4.99 per month and you will get more extended. All the readings with all the extensions is going to be coming out all extended reading. Okay. These readings are timeless. These are quartal reading. Um, it is created for the quartal of April, May. Um, <laughs> Um, of um, October, November, and December, but it can happen to you um, in January, February, March, or April, May. Okay, so some of you, it's going to be April, May, June. So um, let's see what is transpired. These readings are timeless. Please remember to like and share these videos. Share, share, share. Um, and uh, um, thumbs up because it helped the algorithm um, for people to find these videos. All right, Leos, let's get in it. So I see the Wheel of Fortune is coming and you're dealing with some sort of a karmic issue with a um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Now, whatever this issue is and whatever is transpiring, the Wheel of Fortune is carrying back some sort of a karmic issue which you need to resolve and uh, um, create some sort of a balance between you and this person. It could be a sister or a brother. It could be a friend. It could be some sort of a karmatic issue that you had to deal with with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Now, if you notice, this was a situation in um, that happens like a couple of years or a couple um, time before that. But whatever it is, it is coming back for you guys uh, to really take some sort of a look at what is happening and what is transpiring. Then we see in the month of um, November, you're dealing with some sort of a legal issue or some sort of an imbalance that was created, whether you have created it or um, um, it, it was created by other people for you. Um, what we're seeing is that some of you are dealing with some sort of a legal issue with your child and you're hoping for a new start. Now, this new story is not going to be coming up and I see some of you uh, was open for some sort of a new start to come up. But I see no messages. If, if, if you had some sort of a legal issue, especially the young um, people, um, I see no new story. For the older people, there could be some sort of a resolution and peace that is going to be coming in definitely. But if you're dealing with issues with children and that sort of a thing, with your children, father and that sort of a thing, I see no new story is going to be coming up. So whatever the imbalance, whatever the on, um, 
the um you the the things that was transpiring with you and this person i see there is no new start for you and this person i don't think this person is going to be wanting to have any sort of a connection um whoever the stories were work capcorn is has turned their backs to you and they do not want to communicate with you anymore or the relationship between you and this person is uh, um, not to be repaired. Whatever has happened and transpired, I see no repair between you and this person. So it could be a sister, it could be a family, it could be um, your child's father or mother. It could be a brother, it could be a friend. But I see whatever has transpired between you two, I see no sort of a resolution because this person is as if, um, okay, so I've cleared my karma with you, I'm moving forward. Then I see in the month of December, there is some sort of a new start um, that is going to be coming up for some of you Leos. But for some of you younger Leos, you keep on looking backwards and not looking forward. I see some changes is going to be coming up in relationships for you young Leos. So Leos between the ages of 18 and 45, some sort of a relationship situation that you wanted to return to someone from in the past it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius it's not going to be happening so it is better for you to look forward to the future in order to resolve whatever the issue is I see um you Leo's men I see justice is going to be coming down on you and I see some sort of an end and transition is going to be coming up you're going to be finding out about this end in November um, and changes is coming up in December so in November some of you could hear your contract is not going to be extended that sort of a thing because you can see an ending is coming in and some sort of a transition so you Leo men are going to be affected Leo men and women between the ages of 18 and 45 and older people could be affected with some sort of a legal issue you are not going to be um, getting um the result that you had wanted i see justice came down on some of you and um um some sort of a relationship um is also going to be ending for some of you so, so if some of you had some sort of a relationship you can see um this contract is going to be over because some of you had hoped to regain balance with someone who you had some sort of a karmatic issue but it's not going to be happening and i see it's better for you to let it go and look forward i see long-term stability um is going to be coming up for this person it's as if some of you leos at work against a taurus Virgo, capricorn but they are the one that is going to be receiving long-term stability some sort of a situation with love i see um whoever um some of you had some relationship situation with um you know you're open for a new start they're not open for a new start so um be aware of this what is coming up and transpiring there's a whole lot of issues with relationship friendships uh, that is going to be coming up okay and uh, a whole lot of you um, because if you notice the energies, there is not much. There is endings that is going to be coming in. Um, the energy of eight, the frequency of eight is like infinity, abundance. The changes is coming up. You guys have a three time the energy of eight uh, that is coming up. So, um, money could be, um, you, money is going to be good. Um, there is no need to worry, but I see some of you are going to be affected. So as we look at the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, some sort of a news is coming in um, from the past. Justice is ending a situation for some of you Leos, um, but it's not ending in your favor. Then we see um, some of you want to turn your back on some sort of a um, jealousy and uh, Eight, it could be um, turning your back on a girlfriend or some um, people that has created some sort of an issue in your life. Uh, and you're definitely turning your back uh, on these people and these situation and let it go. So the squatter is about news coming in about an end, an end of some sort of a um, false play that has happened and has transpired and truth is going to be coming out. So be aware of this, okay? Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, be aware of this. Then we see some sort of a relationship situation where 
um, a conflict between you and your partner or someone who you truly love is going to come to an end. And I see some sort of a transition is coming up for you, Leos. Okay, so it could have been some sort of a karmatic situation with an ex, a child's father or mother, or some sort of a friendship, some sort of an issue and situation that was happening and creating. I see transition is going to be coming up. Peace is going to finally come in. Transition is going to be coming up. Then I see whoever was the, um, had work against, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and has done something to this person. I see they are the ones who are going to be having this long term stability and an end is going to be coming in to the gossip that there was. Okay. There was some sort of a gossip, some sort of a, um, play that was happening and transpiring. And I see an end is going to be coming into this because I see, um, positive alignment of energy is going to be coming back so what we're seeing here is that some of you um had some sort of a legal issues that you were dealing with and i see um this legal issue it is affecting you guys a lot and you were open that you would have received some sort of a new start but this new start is going to go for the taurus virgo or capricorn and not for you guys whatever you have done um, this new start that you were hoping for is not going to come in for you, Leos, but it's going to come in for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So I see this person is turning their back and so moving away. It is something that you, you, it could have been a relationship or it could have been, um, a, a family situation or some sort of a relationship with your siblings, that sort of a thing, or you have worked, um, against a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They found out and they are, um, turning their backs and leaving you. This is coming from a past life karma. And I see that some of you, the reef of fortune is coming here to give some of you a new start, but um, it's no new start that is going to be coming up for a relationship. That relationship, new start with a relationship is not going to be happening. So some of you were, could have been open um, to have a new start with um, someone that you care about. It could be a family member. It could be a friend, whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring. I don't see this person is really open for that. Then we see that some of you, whoever you were dealing with, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, um, is leaving and turning their backs. It could be something to do with, um, um, something that has to do with money also that you are open for the abundance to come in um or your opening for some wealth to come in but it's not coming as fast as you want it to the wheel of fortune is trying to give some of you a new start with a relationship but you're not realizing this and it's as if the universe is pulling on the um you and saying hey we're trying to open up some sort of a doors for you but it's as if some of you are not seeing you or looking to the future and not seeing that um, there are other things um, that is going to be here for you to be done. So however this is coming up and however this is transpiring, I see some sort, sort of a situation where some of you are not seeing clearly what is happening and what is open up for you. Justice is coming down on a young on you young people, whatever legal issues you have, it's not going to be turning out in your favor. I see some of you really wanted a new start. Some of you were hoping for a new start. But this new start is not going to be whatever the legal issue is and whatever the new start is that some of you are still um, thinking about the past. And instead of you understand that um, whatever in the past is in the past. The future is where you should look towards because the past is now over and you're not really recognizing that in yourself or recognizing that. And I see, you know, some of you are going to be very, very upset because it's as if some of you wanted something, but it's not happening and it's not happening that fast. And it's as if you want things to like pick up and you're trying to push your way through this um, situation. Now, what is transpiring is that the Wheel of Fortune, some of you had some sort of a legal issue um, um, that has to do with some sort of a documentation. And uh, I see some of you are hoping for a new start, but it's not going to be coming in because whatever is transpiring, um, um, I see some of you turn your back to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And this is why 
it's as if the new start is not coming in whoever this person is and whatever the significant and it's as if they're saying ask for forgiveness you need to ask for forgiveness for what you have done. And as you ask for that forgiveness, you will see doors of opportunities is going to be opening up. Um, a lot of you young people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be having some sort of a problem moving forward. And I see transition is going to be coming up and the end is going to be coming up to some sort of a situation. I see some of you are trying to communicate with... Um, um, and another person could be, um, you know, want to heal a situation between you and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I see forgiveness. It's, it's, it's as if some of you have done something really, um, horrible to, uh, against this person and this person is keeping you at bay. And I see you regret because uh, whatever has transpired, I see you realize now the communication and the love between you and this person um, will never be the same um, because of whatever that has transpired. Peace is definitely going to be coming in. There is no question, but the um, connection that you had with someone, that connection is broken. And I see that some of you really wants to re that connection, but it's as if they, you know, they are not uh, open for um, this new start. And I see that uh, um, it's as if you're trying to connect with them, but it's as if uh, they are, they have moved forward. They have um, turned their back to a situation, move forward. And they have found themselves uh, um, like they've changed the way um, they go through life. It's as if uh, they realize that, uh, it doesn't really matter what um, they try to do for some of you. It, it just never work out. And it's as if uh, um, some of you expected more from this person, whoever this person is, some of you expected more from this person or this person expected more from you guys. And it's as if you can't give them what they want. And it's as if this person is going to be just moving forward there. So there is some sort of a situation and it has to, to do with your, um, your wealth and your uh, stability and, and uh, something to do with the past that is coming back in order to haunt you. And it's as if uh, you have to apologize to this person, whatever it is and whatever is transpired is as if, if you apologize to this person, I see there will become peace, okay? But I see that some of you think, yeah, whatever, um, I'm not going to be um, doing that because I don't see the reason. And it's as if the universe is saying, there doesn't have to be a reason. Um, you know, whatever the conflicts was between you and this person, you need to resolve it, okay? So I see that a lot of you are hoping, hoping, hoping for a new start, hoping for more business to come in. Um, um, there is going to be a, a whole lot of you could be finding new love. New love could be coming in. Some of you are open for new love and um, new love is going to be coming in for you guys. I see a legal issue is going to be coming to an end and uh, some of you are going to be released out of some sort of a horrible um, imbalance, horrible, uh, on you know, not honest um things that came into your life and you're going to be trying to resolve this. Now in December, December is a situation and this December is going to be affecting a lot of you young people, people between the ages of 18 and 45. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you people between the age of 18 and 45, there is a lot of transition that is going to be coming up. How are you going to deal with this transition? Are you open for this transition? Because I see communication, but I also see some sort of a jealousy that is there. Whether it's you having jealousy or they, or some sort of a jealousy is going to be coming to you guys. So, you know, this is, uh, this is the situation. And what is going on is that the universe always, whatever we do, we have to clear our karmas. And this is a time when it has to do with karma clearing and it has to do with um, issues with partners, issues with relationship, issues with your sibling, issues with friends. 
and uh, it as it's as if you, these people came back in your life in order for you to heal some sort of a karmatic situation and it's as if you're not um looking towards uh, um what it is that you need to to clear and what is the transition that needs to happen is as if some of you are still going through that karma wheel, that same karma wheel and not looking for a way to resolve whatever the issue and the problem is. So, so you know, it is a time when you're going to be trying to figure out yourself and understand the wheel of fortune could be bringing back um, as some sort of a, um, issue for you to look at and deal with and clear up out of your lives. I do love you guys. Please like and share this video. Peace is going to be coming in. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, definitely peace is going to be coming in. So this is going to be good. However, you look at, um, um, this timeline. Peace is going to be coming in. No matter how it seems to be, I see that peace is going to be coming in for you guys, but you have to open up to heal yourselves, okay? So it is not a bad quarter. You're ending off, you're ending up, you're clearing up some sort of an issue that was going on, and it is going to be positive. I gotta say namaste until next time. Please remember, like and share these videos so the algorithm can pick up these videos. Come back each and every month, October, November, and December to see what is happening. Namaste.